In this video, we're talking about the uh, Unit Ter app, uh, which is available on the Clover devices, and the app uh, helps work with the scale here, the CAS uh, SWRS. The purpose of the app is to handle the Ter functionality, right? So, uh, Ter, for those who don't know, is say you have an item uh, that's wrapped in a container and that item is sold by the weight. Well, it wouldn't be fair if you were paying for the container in which the item was wrapped, right? So tear removes the weight of the container from the total weight for which you have to pay. That's it, that's the tear functionality. Now, within um, this functionality, we have a uh, ability to work with either customer-specific containers with in-store containers or item-specific containers. And so let me kind of briefly explain the difference between the three. So customer-specific containers, that's when a customer walks into the store with their own bin to get some stuff to put them to, into their own container, and they'd expect to pay only for the things that they've put in the container, but not for their own container. Um, in-store containers. So imagine you're a yogurt shop and you have four different cup sizes for all of your ice creams, right? So this is a in-store container because regardless of what ice cream you put in it, you're still choosing from one of those four different cups, right? So it's not item-specific uh, container. It's a container that's available in that store and there's four different kinds. Uh, so that's a store-level container. And the last one is the item specific container that's a one-to-one -one relationship there's the very specific container for a very specific item and what are the differences between the three and it's quite obvious right so when the customer container we're talking about that is what we're talking when a customer brings their own container into the store the in-store containers are you know, they need to get, like, so when you select an item, you want to trigger the in-store container to choose which one the item is put into. And the third one, there's no need for triggering or asking for interfacing of the merchant because it's a one-to-one -one relationship. Once you specify which container goes to each item, the weight of the container can be removed uh, from the transaction automatically without any additional clicking, right? And so now let me kind of quickly demonstrate each one of these uh, steps. And I'd like to zoom in a little bit. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off with the uh, in-store containers. And we don't currently have any. So let's go ahead and set one up. So we're going to call this a large cup. Yeah. And... We're going to say that, well, my scale is currently set up in pounds, so this is also going to be a pound, and the weight is going to be 65, 0.65. Arbitrary selected numbers, but there it is. So now we have our large cup selected, created rather, sorry. Let's make a medium cup. All right also in pounds okay and the weight is gonna be 12. okay it's gonna say the cup is at so now we have two cups um large and the medium and there they are and they've set up you can see them here and because we have these two cups now um this is what happens when we in fact why don't i zoom out a little bit All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an item that's per pound. There it is, item A, right? And it's going to ask me to put something on the scale. And let's go ahead and put this barcode scanner on it. And there it is. We have it on the scale. And it's 0.35 pounds, but our container is actually much bigger than that. So let's put something else on the scale to make it so there's a pound... In fact, why don't we make it this much? So there. We've added the item. Something else pops up unrelated. Something else pops up unrelated. There is the container app, right? So it says, you know, you have an item that you just put in the cart uh, at pound 52. And you can deduct either a large cup or a medium cup from that container. 
So let's remove the large cup and 0.87 pounds left. So that was the functionality of the store level container.